and welcome once more to Student of the Gun University. I am your host and instructor, Professor Paul Markle. And if you're not watching on YouTube or Facebook, then you should be watching on PatriotFireTeam.com. Now, as we broadcast this, Jared, give me the date. It is August 17th? 18th. 18th. Today is Thursday, August 18th. How did it become the 18th? I don't know, dude. Thursday, August 18th, 2016, and it is 11 o'clock Central Daylight Time as we broadcast this. I understand that a lot of you are going to have to catch up later. That's cool. Step number one, where are you on planet Earth? Please sign in. Tell us where you are. We care. Uh, step number two, what coffee mug am I? This was a gift to me from a friend of mine that was, uh, he went over to Iraq and shopped in the Iraqi gift shop. And remember, uh, remember the old days? Now, none of you remember the old days before our wars and conflicts had gift shops. We actually used to just fight wars and then go home. Now we have gift shops. Did you share this? Did you? Jared, hey, uh, Mongo, quit hitting the bipod with your big feet. Did you share this yet? You didn't? Well, why not? What are you waiting for? You waiting for a special invitation? Okay. Here is your special invitation. Share this video with a like-minded individual. There you go. Hmm. All right. Uh, is everything good technically behind the cameras there, Jared? Uh, looks like everything is actually functioning today, so there's that. We got Dan Strait in Kalamazoo, Michigan, uh, Randy Richardson in Georgia, they're watching on YouTube. Of course, we got Lauren in here, we got uh, our artist, Christopher Hi, Umana, or is it Umana? I don't know. Phonetically spell your name, Fontana. Chris. Fontana. Uh, Josh Guthrie, Fontana. we got South Carolina, uh, Keith M Mills. Simplify from Piedmont, Oklahoma. Okay, so we just played Mouseketeer Roll Call. Congratulations. Welcome to Student of the Gun University. This is video four of four of the Patriot Fire Team. And uh, let's go ahead and do a quick review. Now, on Monday, we talked about the fact that a lot of people out there are carrying the load or trying to carry the load all by themselves. And you don't want to do that. So who do you want to find? You want to find... LMIs, you want to find like-minded individuals. Who out there gets it? Who out there cares? Who out there wants to do something positive and proactive in the world other than just complain? So like-minded individuals. We find three or four like-minded individuals that we can talk to, sit down, and that we can all agree that we're going to work towards positive ends, positive goals, protecting our communities, securing our communities, and so on. So we've got like-minded individuals. Check, that's step number one. What's the next step? Well, the next step, excuse me. Goal. What is our goal or what are our goals? Do we have goals? Is our goal that, let's say your basic goal is in the event of an emergency, a catastrophe, what have you, what we will do as like-minded individuals, as a Patriot Fire Team, is we will support each other and protect our community. We will secure our cul-de-sac community. Okay, that's our goal. How are we going to achieve that goal? Well, we need to establish baseline training. Make sure that everybody has the training or the ability to meet the goal. Doesn't do you any good. Say, well, I want to shoot a, uh, a steel silhouette target at a thousand yards. Okay, that's your goal. How are you going to achieve that goal? Well, I'm just going to buy a gun and some ammo and then that's going to make it happen. No, you need training. You need to establish some type of baseline training. So that was day two. All right, so we have like-minded individuals. We've all decided that we're gonna take training. Now we get to the gear confusion. Gear selection. And the reason we put gear selection on day three instead of on day one is because this isn't the most important. What's most important is to have people that are going to support each other. 
Just you, if it's just you going out to the store or going online and buying a bunch of gear, it really doesn't help you much. So what you need to do is you need to find like-minded individuals, determine that you're actually going to take training, that you're all going to be educated, then decide what gear you want to buy or purchase. You say, but Paul, I have to have the gear to take the training. You have to have a minimum gear list to take the training. What I want you guys to do though, or what I want you to avoid is that big, what do we say, the box of regret. All these things that you went out and bought that now you have no use for. So yesterday we talked about gear selection or regret and, and how to do it. Great. Now today we're going to talk about the missing component. What is the missing component? Well, you go to your, let's say you have an emergency cover, let's say you have an emergency gear locker, you have a go bag, you've got a stock filled go bag. You go over to the go bag and you open it up and you look inside, or you go to the cabinet and you open that cabinet up, your emergency cabinet with freeze dried food and, and all kinds of different stuff. <clears throat> There's a missing component. What is not in there? I'm gonna tell you, it starts with an L. leadership. You cannot go online or to your favorite outdoor store or your favorite gun shop. You can't go and buy or purchase leadership. And because you can't purchase leadership, because it's not something that's easily bought, it is probably the biggest missing component, the most glaring missing component in our overall Patriot Fire Team gun culture, shooting sports community world. Right now, the United States of America, hell, the world, but let's just deal with the United States, is absolutely starving for leadership. You're like, oh, hang on, Paul. We, we have leaders. We have governors and presidents and senators and congressmen. And we have those people and they're our leaders. No, 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 they don't lead. They govern via poll, or via executive order, or via edict, or they govern based upon emotion and populism. What, is, what do the peasants want today? What are they screaming for? Oh, the peasants are screaming for free cell phones. The peasants are screaming for Pokemon. The peasants are screaming for, for free health care and free college. Okay, well let's get together and figure out how we can give it to them. That's not what a leader does. That's what a ruler does. And right now, your community, yeah, your community, your family, your community, your small area, I'm not talking about top down. Like we said previously, if you're waiting for Washington DC to fix all the problems and it to trickle down to you, it's never gonna happen. We've been playing that game for what? My entire lifetime? I'd say at least 25 years. We've been playing that game for 25 years, waiting for the people at the top to realize that we need genuine leadership, not populism, and to do something about it, to actually lead, to be bold, to have morals and principles and follow those morals and principles. It's not happening. So what do we have in the United States and in the world, Australia, England, whatever, I'm sorry for you. Um, what do we have? We have a huge leadership vacuum. And what do you find, if, if you have been in a crisis, in the aftermath of a crisis, whether it's been a hurricane or, or riots or you name it, or let's say it was a little mini crisis where let's say uh, you had to evacuate a building because there was a threat of a fire or what have you, and people come to you, they look to you, they're like, oh, hey, you're a gun guy, right? What should we do? What do you mean, what should we do? Well, well, I mean, you're a gun guy. You, you have guns and you bought guns and stuff. Does that mean you're a leader? No, but here's the deal. If you're a member of a Patriot fire team, if you want to become involved, you want to get involved in the concept, if you understand that it's your responsibility as a citizen, that it's your duty to protect your family and your immediate community. If you understand that, people will look to you and they will want leadership. 
The big question is, will you be able to give it to them? Do you understand? Are you able to take on that task? Or are you just going to be like the people in D.C. and your state capitals? Well, let's just figure out what everybody wants and, and give them what they want. That's not leadership. Let's, let's take a poll and, uh, and we'll govern by poll. Or we'll give people what, they, what we think they need. That is not leadership. All right. I want to thank everybody. Jared, I think that's we're ready to for the nut. Are we ready for the nut? Yeah. All right. Uh, check your notes. Make sure you hit everything. Okay. I'll check my notes. Jared says check your notes. That's why we do notes because this is live. Yeah. Um, uh, quick administrative note. If you have not gone to PatriotFireTeam.com for, the, for uh, the previous three days and gotten your free reports, the free report on laser sites, uh, the, the chapter three of the original book, uh, getting people involved. If you haven't done that, you still can, right, Jared? They still have the opportunity to do that? What, what, what was the, the question? Free reports? Can they still get the free reports? Yes, but not at PatriotFireTeam.com. Oh, you missed out. So. Yep. Uh, if you, here's the deal. <clears throat> what he's about to announce, if you go through the process to get this thing, then after that you will Please receive an more rain. yeah I know right you'll receive an email that has um, something free in it and also a link to the page that has all four videos and the other free stuff so that's how you can get to that right now okay so who needs your leadership your team your family your community and how do we do that well. Thank you very much for being with us all week. I know that some of you got here on Monday and you were here faithfully Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and it's today. What have we been working on? What have I been working on for months? Matter of fact, I took a break from this to write another book and then I went back to this book. The Patriot Fire Team Manual. Now, what you're seeing in my hand was an advanced proof copy, and do you, you know how? Because it says proof on the back. <laughs> this is an advanced proof copy now, and what we're doing today, right now, at this moment in time, we're announcing the pre-order for the Patriot Fire Team Manual. What is in the Patriot Fire Team Manual? Well, I thank you for asking. Well, the original Patriot, a lot of you guys out there bought the original Patriot Fire Team Manuscript. And the original manuscript talked about the concept, the why. It talked about the history behind it, why you would want to do it, why it's necessary, how to get your family involved, uh, a little bit about guns, a little bit about you know being prepared. We talked about defeating terrorism in the 21st century and how we could actually do that. That was the first book, and that's been almost two years. It was December of 2014. I looked it up here. December of 2014 when that was published. Was it really? Yep. Wow. So people bought the book and they said, yeah, but I, I, what I want was I want more. I want how to. I want what should I buy. I want how should we train together and so on and so forth. So what I did is I sat down and I put together all of that material. So I'll give you a quick for instance. May I read from my own book? May I? Sure. Uh, dressing the part, head to toe, boots, socks, gear, and so on, clothing, foul weather gear, and so forth. I've been doing this for, well, I guess we could say 30 years now. So for 30 years, I've been carrying a gun in some form or fashion. And I've been a United States Marine. I've been a police officer, I've been a military contractor, I've been a bodyguard. I've been all around the world and I've had to choose different types of gear and footwear and so forth. So I put that in there. Uh, chapter two, deuce gear. All my Marines know what deuce gear is, right? Deuce gear, load bearing gear, how to choose it, how to wear it, what is important, what the, you can do to uh, basically make a good purchase. We talk about the importance of mental readiness and physical readiness. Signaling, communication, leadership. Yes, there is an entire chapter in this book on leadership, leadership traits, and how to practice and apply them. Yes, not just being a boss, not just telling people what to do. Because being a boss and telling people what to do is not leadership. Okay? The whole purpose of the Patriot Fire Team is not so we can have a bunch of like four guys that own guns and we're all just standing around. I got a gun, you got a gun. Now, now what are we gonna do? No, no, no. 
You need to be able to work together. You need to have goals. You need to have training. You need to understand what you hope to accomplish and then be able to accomplish that. Look at our world today. Right now, as we film this, uh, there there's neighborhoods in Milwaukee that are smoldering. Why? Well, because the thug element is not happy. The thug element is emboldened and they feel like we can burn down our neighborhoods, we can assault people, kill people, rape people, rob people. We can do it all, and guess what? No one will call us out. CNN will make excuses for us. The uh, Comrade Barry's off golfing somewhere. He doesn't care. Who's going to take care of your family? Who's going to take care of your community? Right now, Louisiana, Southeast Louisiana is a mess. It's a disaster area. It's flooded. It's like they're calling it a thousand year flood. Somebody asked me this morning or someone posted a, a just a, an open question on Facebook and they said, uh, have you seen the Black Panthers and uh, BLM people down in Louisiana lending a hand, doing cleanup, rescuing people, pulling them out of houses, coming in with helicopters and trucks, and boats and so forth? Have you seen that? No, you haven't. Because they're just agitators and troublemakers. Who actually is down there? rescuing people, risking their own lives for others. Well, it's American law enforcement. It's a National Guard. It's citizens like you and I who are down there helping right now. Maybe members of a Patriot Fire Team. So, right now, here's what you guys want to do. Jared? Well, congratulations to Douglas Schultz. He was the first one to place an order for Woo! the book. Douglas Schultz, you're the man. Yeah. Well, let's tell them what they get. You're not just going to, because we love you. Here's the deal. This book is only going to be available right now for, what, 30 days, right? 30 days for the family. Was that mean? what we decided? No. Pre-orders for seven days. Well, no, no, no but I mean, we were, it's, it's not going to be on Amazon or anywhere oh, else. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 30 days. This, we decided to make this available to you, the student of the gun family, first. So it's you, the outsiders who aren't part of the family, they won't be able to get this until next month, okay? But what we're gonna do right now is we're taking pre-orders for the book. The first 100 people that pre-order the book, Jared, we're gonna send them the ebook for free? Yep. All right, Jared's gonna send you the ebook for free. You'll receive an email with the ebook attached and also a link to the page with all four videos. And all the freebies that we gave you. I think we gave the the laser report, the report on the, the, the lasers, uh, the la and then on lasers. The in, yeah, and then chapter three. Chapter so. three of the book of the original manual. Oh, bonus! What bonuses? <laughs> You're like, well, what bonuses do we have, Paul? This thing is filled with bonuses. Uh, I didn't just write this for you by myself. Uh, I needed some information, and well, quite frankly, two of my friends, James Yeager and Shane Iverson. Shane Iverson is the head instructor, MFCEO, CEO of CSAT MTT, that stands for Mobile Training Team. So he's in charge of the CSAT Mobile Training Team and he's in Texas. And uh, Shane had actually shared with me a, a long article that he had written about choosing a weapon light or a handheld light, using a weapon light, a handheld light. He's a Special Forces Team Sergeant, retired. He's been there, done that, gotten the t-shirt, right? So I said to Shane, hey, I want to talk about lights in the book. Would you mind if I shared that? And he said, rock on, let's do it. There was another section in there. If you guys know anything about James Yeager, he's done uh, a good bit of contracting work. He was overseas in Iraq. And in his book, oh, oh man, the book is, I'm gonna, I want to get it absolutely right. I don't want to mispronounce it. The book is, do, 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 do. Uh, come on there. <laughs> In a war, okay. James's book is called High Risk Civilian Contracting Working in a War Torn World. And I read this book several years ago. And in the book, he talks about getting yourself prepared or getting your affairs in order. And I had read that chapter and I thought, you know, I could write basically the same thing that he said because we're like minded, or I could just contact James and say, James, can I share that section about getting your affairs in order with my audience? And he said, rock on, do it. So in addition to everything I've written in here, we've got a special chapter from James Yeager, we've got a special chapter from my good friend Shane Iverson, and uh, something that I wanted to do, and this is something that very few authors have the opportunity to do.
The original Patriot Fire Team manuscript. Am I going too long here? Should I just shut up? And let him. Um, well, according to her, there is no such thing as too long. So mm. you're good. Okay. Well, many authors, but when you write a book, it's kind of like, well, people say movies. Uh, I think it was Lucas who said, movies are never finished, they're simply abandoned. Because you can always go back and make one more change, one more change, one more change. And books are very similar. You write a book, you publish a book, and then you see it and you're like, oh man, I, I wish I'd have changed this, or I wish I would have added that, or I wish I would have done something a little bit different. And when you operate in the standard publishing world, a, a, you know, a big New York uh, publisher, Chicago publisher, uh, once a book is done, it's generally done. You, you, we don't go back and redo it. We did that, check the block, we move on with our lives. And very rarely do you get the opportunity to go back and redo it because a major publisher, they're like, no, it's not worth the investment. But because what have we been doing with Student of the Gun the last two years? We started at the beginning of 2015. Not only taking control of the material that we produce, but we've taken control of the distribution of that material. So we control the distribution of the books, the audio, the video, and so on and so forth, the TV. So what I could do, and what I did for you guys, is I went back to the original Patriot Fire Team manuscript, and I updated it. I put in some different things, and, and I added, it's not changed tremendously, but I was able to go back in and kind of upgrade it, do an upgraded edition. So in addition to all the stuff about gear and leadership and signaling and communication, training and so forth, in addition to all that, what I've included as well at the end of this manual, now the manual is gonna to come to you, it's gonna be 260 some pages. It's a, it's a pretty thick manual. At the end is the original Patriot Fire Team manuscript, second edition. So you get all the how-tos, the whys, and the wherefores, and the original Patriot Fire Team manuscript included in a second edition. And if that's not good enough for you guys, if that's not enough, I don't. All right, I'll do one more thing for you. First hundred physical copies that come in, I will take, where is it? Where is it? It's right here. I will take this blue pen, and I will sign it for you. Well, we've got... Other, other than that, I don't know what else to do for you. I, I could come to your house and I could read it to you before you go to bed every night. Uh, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> you could do an audio book and then... <laughs> read it. Mm. Oh. And... Uh, we've got quite a few orders coming in. So Easter eggs. If you want the free ebook, you need to be a part of the first 100. Yeah. Free ebook for and the first 100 orders. That's dwindling really quickly. And uh, what, something I put in here, I worked with Nancy and we put little Easter eggs in this. There's actually in the book is a how to study the book guide in the book. When, when you read this book, when you read any book that I've written, I want you to have two things in your paw. When you, besides a, a high quality hand rolled cigar and some premium coffee or an adult beverage, you're an adult. Uh, what I want you guys to have I want you to have a highlighter, and I want you to have a pencil or a pen. I use pencil. Because this is a study guide. If you get to the end of this, and you haven't written any notes in the margin, you haven't highlighted anything, highlit anything, uh, written anything, written notes for yourself, you're not taking advantage of it. This is all, what is Student of the Gun about? Education, enlightenment, and entertainment. And if you don't laugh somewhere along in this book, if, if you don't have at least one laugh, you have no soul. And, there's really nothing I could do for you. Oh, and the answer is yes. If you don't like a Christmas story, you are a communist, and I don't know why you're here. That was a question from yesterday. Phil, Phil Spence says the audiobook is no good because my drive time is taken up by listening to uh, the SOTG podcast. I, I do four audio. Yeah, I do four, sure. four audio books a week. Yeah, five if you're a grad program member. Sometimes I forget we do that. It's, mm. it's just a part of the... You want to know what I what I have to say about stuff? Don't confuse them. <laughs> Listen. Don't give them too many links. Um, we're going to open this, up questions. This is, what you're, this is what you want to focus on right now. PatriotFireTeam.com That gives you all the info you need. Uh, questions. We're going to open up Q&A right now. Let me... I'm kind of ignoring YouTube because it's 
tougher. It's tougher. Storytelling, order place. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> There's people that are on the YouTube and on Facebook. Oh, that's right. I'm delayed 10 seconds, aren't I? Yeah. That's weird because I just caught my reflection in the monitor and I'm standing still and little Paul on the monitor is moving. Little Paul. Little there Paul. is no little Paul. There's, there's big Paul and then there's other big Paul. Just so you know. <laughs> uh, we're waiting on your guys' questions in case oh, you're there, there, Are we waiting on questions? Yeah. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. No, oh, okay. Oh, question from yesterday uh, regarding Jared's rifle. The Duracoat colors that I put on Jared's rifle is the, the tactical black. It actually is called tactical black. It's a very non-reflective black color. And the other color is World War II WWII OD Green. So if you want to order those from Duracoat, it's tactical black and WW2 OD. And you can get those in the can. You want me to go get a can and hold it? Yeah. Okay. Go Woo. get it quick. They can look at the board while you're doing that. <clears throat> okay, yeah, here you go. Tactical black and World War II OD green. Uh, I call these this awesome in a can. It's Duracoat in a can. It has the hardener. It has the color. You can Duracoat anything, anywhere. Just do your prep right. The, the trick to a good finish is a good start. Any other questions? I think we, uh, man, whew, it's been a busy week and we're not even done. We still have tomorrow's morning mindset. Yeah. You know tomorrow morning, tomorrow's morning mindset's gonna be about? Who gets dibs on the seat? Who gets dibs on the seat? On seating, who gets dibs on seating? Oh yeah, okay. We're gonna talk about that because cool. people ask about being out in public and so forth. So tomorrow on morning mindset, we're gonna talk with the, we're gonna answer the question who gets first dibs on seating? Don't answer the question yourself. Just calm down. We'll talk about it tomorrow. All right. I'm not seeing any questions. So. All right. Apparently, everybody knows what they're supposed to do. Thank you very much for uh, attending Student of the Gun University this week. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. Go to PatriotFireTeam.com. That's PatriotFireTeam.com. And, uh, well... First 100 orders, get a free ebook, and I will even take, like I said, this blue pen, and I will sign it for you. And that's the only place you're gonna get that, is right here. Where did you get that shirt? This shirt? Oh, this is a Century Arms shirt. Yep, got this from, we got this from our friends at Century Arms. I guess if you go to centuryarms.com, they probably have apparel and you can buy them. All right, we're done. We're out. Peace out. Tomorrow morning at Peace 11 a.m.